Hi, it's William. Welcome to Fly Spoke. And uh, in my vice, I have uh, a fly created by a good friend of mine, Leo, and uh, I call it the Leo Smelt. And um, this is a tube fly version. You can do this on standard streamer hooks. You can do it as a pin smelt, very small, take a size 12 even, size 10, size 12, regular 4X long streamer hook. You can tie the fly uh, uh, for uh, landlocked salmon coming this fall and for Atlantic salmon. I like tying it on uh, tubes, various lengths, various sizes. And... Um, uh, it's really a great fly. You can vary the wing. This one happens to be Arctic Fox. Uh, you can use Marabou. Uh, originally the fly was done with Marabou uh, for the wing. Uh, vary the length of the wing, pin smelt, larger smelt. Uh, just really a great all-around fly and I'm going to show you how to tie it now. So for this setup, uh, I've chosen to use a uh, HMH one-inch aluminum microtube, and um, then this is a uh, protube junction tube. Uh, basically, the protube junctions they're tapered, and I really like that about them because the the back is so much smaller. When you get into regular junction tubes and cutting tubes and things of that nature uh, for the, your junction, they wind up having a big flare at the back. And these protube uh, junctions, uh, I, I find them really nice and sleek and really a good look. And this fly, I'm going to start by putting some thread, red thread. This happens to be Gordon Griffith shear. 14 aught, which is a 70 denier, and that's basically where I'm going to start is right on there, because the first item to really get put onto this fly is uh, uh, some of this. Um, it is a tubing. Here it is in yellow. Some some tubing. Here it is from uh, Ray Rumpf uh, Company fine mylar tubing. This is uh, in the pearl color that I'm going to use for the fly. Um, you could get into doing wraps if you wanted. Uh, um, they'll all work just fine. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this aluminum color is nice because it's going to, it, it, the aluminum will actually show through and give a sheen to the body. You can wrap it in a color if you like. I could take this right now and I could wrap pulling out the core here. See it has a cloth core inside. And I'm just putting this over. You could wrap all different colors under here if you wanted to make it the red thread. You could do that. And this I'm going to let the pieces of that body braid, I'm going to let them actually oper uh, be a tail for me in a way, a f a wrapping 360 around. And this, I'm just going to put some thread to hold it on right there, and I'm going to tie off the red thread right there. Give it a clip. And then to really hold it, I'm going to take some Loctite 414, which is a very nice, durable form of crazy glue. And I'm simply going to put a little bit right onto that thread there. Not a lot. But I do have to let it dry. Okay, so now uh, that my crazy glue is dry, Loctite 414, great stuff. I'm going to take this body and I'm going to pull it forward slightly and I'm going to start my thread again. Now, the fly has a pretty big head on it because of placing the eyes. So I'm going to grab it about there, straighten out my body, and that's my starting point again for my thread. Alright. And the first thing I'm going to put in here is I'm going to take some mirror crystal flash. Now this stuff comes in a whole bunch of colors. 
Uh, blue is good for this fly. Um, so I'm going to just take, now I don't want to use a lot of this, it has such uh, reflective properties. It's the mirror crinkle flash. Set that on top. And that's basically going to go in as an underwing. You can see how that uh, just veed that and splayed it across. Next item, Arctic Fox in white. Now, Arctic Fox is a very, very soft winging material, and we really don't need a lot of it for this fly. You know, these are smelt patterns, and smelt have pretty sleek bodies. But the one thing I'm going to do right away with this Arctic Fox is I'm going to take a brush, and I'm going to brush the Arctic Fox from to the tip. And I'm also going to take out, I'm taking out all the fluff in the back portion of it. Now, it's much longer than I want to use it. And you want to cut it much longer to start. Because I'm going to take my thumb, and I'm going to take my index finger, and I'm going to elongate the top to the back and basically shorten the front. All right? So I'm going to do it again, elongate so that the, the hairs of the fox are now actually shorter down in this area than they are at the very tip. And now I'm going to measure my length of how big I want the fly to be. And I'm going to hold, squeeze, make it squeezed thin, and I'm going to clip off And place, loose wrap, loose, loose, now tight, straight down. Alright, let's take out everything that's going to come out. I am holding on here, I'm pulling down on my thread so that it doesn't just pull out on me. And I'll make a couple of wraps being happy with the way that wing is looking right now. Okay. All right, and that's pretty well on there, nicely on there. Next item, I'm going to take two barbules from a peacock eye. Very fine material, right? The finest stuff on the peacock pearl is right up close to the eye. And I'm just going to lay length, switch hands, measure, trim, place, and I want to make sure this is directly right on top. Phone call. Hey, hey! I'm in the middle of the video for the uh, Leo Smelt. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, just let me flip it off. Hold well, on. excuse me for the phone call, but uh, had to take it from uh, a fellow who I'm helping go to Matan, uh, and on the, on the Gas Peninsula up in uh, up in Quebec. And it just so happens that this particular fly, uh, along with black ghost streamers and white wing flies are, are really really strong producers up there so that's another use for this for this fly so anyway um, we put on the, the the two strands of peacock curl taken out of the eye and just secure that down turn the fly over then I'm gonna take uh, this is a gadwall flank and um, if I take the barbules and I point them straight out to the side, they get about pretty equal in length. Then I can hold tight and I can simply rip off. And that's going to give me a pretty uniform 
fairly uniform uh, uh, look to a throat. Now, again, I'm going to judge how long I want it to be. Switch hands. Make my trim. Place down, and I'm holding it right in place. Loose. Loose. Oh, let's try that again. We're going to go loose here. And loose and now pull straight down tight and we're going to get that throat nicely in place take away anything now that could be longer than where the heads going to be I've got a little bit of that uh, body body material that's sticking forward and I'm just gonna go ahead and take those off Alright, simple. Alright, let's just build a we're gonna build a head of some size. We need this head to be able to support the eyes and have a nice look after we're done. So I'm gonna use a lot more thread than I would or different to a shape than I would have if I was tying just a fly without these added on added on eyes. And I'm just going to keep working this back and forth and build it up. Build up some size to it, but not not a real lot. Doesn't have to be. And just go ahead and tie that off. And I'm going to switch thread to some black. And I like to take the black and I like to put a mouth on this fly. So I just take some black and in the very front only, right up to the tip of the tube, try not to go over onto the plastic inner tube. sure I don't go over the front okay Okay. So now I'm going to take these, uh, these are dome shaped eyes. Um, I believe they're 3 30 seconds in size. You can vary the eye size. I happen to like the silver with black pupils myself. Some people like other colors. And I'm going to go back to my Loctite. And I'm just going to take a dab of Loctite. And I'm going to put exactly on the side just a little spot here and a little spot on the other side where the eye is going to go. Now that does take a little bit to dry and it is crazy glue so you have to watch out with your fingers so as long as you keep your fingers moving if you get it on you you'll be okay so I'm going to take an eye and I'm going to place one and just get it on exactly on the side this portion of the black still showing it's like the mouth and then let's get this one on this side again get it in the same place if you can side to side exactly on the side and basically we got eyes 
lay them on and we let that dry take just uh, it just takes a moment or two now I have this product that I use now some people use epoxies and now they have the lights with the epoxy to use which is really really nice but what I find with those types of things is I can't control the shape of the head and this item is called the Elaine's Elaine's fabric fusion get it at the craft store and what I find is is I can control this product even though it takes longer to dry I have great control over it and I just start putting some on reasonable quantity like that then I go back and I take my pick and I make sure that it's right up behind the eye and I just take it like that and move it around because it doesn't it takes a while to dry I get it over the entire head and the eyes now when I've covered the entire thing the entire head all I need to do is rotate and I see it bubbling up or bubbling down. I want this bulbous head look to this. I like the bulbous head. So I control gravity. And if I turn it upside down, see it's dripping down? I just turn it back over. And it's not a production thing. It's, it's basically just what I think makes a nice look to the fly. See it's dripping again. But after just a few minutes, this is going to set up so it won't be dripping. If you think you have too much, it's really simple. All you got to do is take your your pin, touch it to it, take a little bit off. It's perfectly okay. Keep your hair out of it. And then I have fished these flies with this Elaine's Fabric Fusion. It stays clear. It looks good. Just keep spinning it and you'll have a really, really nice looking shape to the head. Choose a hook of your choice. If you're going salmon fishing, you can take doubles. If you are going trout fishing and you only want to use or steelhead fishing, um, put in a single, saltwater short, uh, uh, all different styles of hooks you could use. Um, what I did was on this one, and shouldn't be touching this before it dries, but pull that off. Here's a Ken Sawada double done in just a small, small size Ken Sawada double. Get that dripping. Works well on the fly. And that's the Leo smelt. There it is.